I'm the webmaster for the DHotandStable.com. We often show you a lot of race videos on our YouTube channel, but this week we thought it would be fun if we took you on a road trip. We're going to show you some behind the scenes shots from the Knox County Fair in Mount Vernon, Ohio. I arrive at the DHOT and Stable located at the Wayne County Fairgrounds at about 2.30. The truck and trailer has already been hooked up and loaded with equipment, so we're ready to race. Inside the barn, Gary is getting TT photo prints, one of the horses scheduled to race today, ready for the trailer ride to the Knox County Fair by wrapping up his legs. Prince and Gary enjoy a little playtime before getting down to the business and racing. <laughs> Trainer D. Hatton arrives at the barn. TT's photo Prince will be the first horse to load up onto the trailer for the trip to Mount Vernon. The two-year-old trotting colt, Global Power, is next to load onto the trailer. Once the horses are loaded, we all pile into the truck. We got everything right. Equipment, horses, people. Oh, we forgot Prince. I know we did. We head out of the Wayne County Fairgrounds and get on Route 3 South and go through Ohio Hill Country to get to the Mount Vernon Fair. Hey, there's the starting gate. We arrived at the Knox County Fairgrounds around 4 o'clock and we head over to the racehorse barns to find a couple of stalls for our horses for tonight's races. Now that we've arrived, we have to unload everything. is unloaded, the horses are settled into their stalls, complete with a fan to help keep them cool on such a hot and muggy day like today. They will have a couple of hours to relax before the races start at 7 p.m. Trainer D. Houghton goes to the speed office to pay the entry fees on her two trotters she's racing tonight, Global Power and TT's Photo Prints, while the rest of us head over to the grandstand to find some fair food. As time passes by, Everything is getting put into place to put on the race program at the Knox County Fair. And arriving just on time is the tote board. Local Power is scheduled to make his first lifetime start tonight in the first race. So the grooms start to get him ready so the trainer D. Houghton can warm him up. Once Global Power is harnessed, trainer D. Houghton hooks him up to the jog cart and will take him out to the racetrack and jog him a couple of miles before turning him and going a speed trip with it. After his warm-up mile, Global Power will return to the barn, where he will get a short rest before being called out to the first race. I had asked trainer D. Houghton what the goal was for Global Power's first lifetime star. Not to make a break <laughs> and then to make money somehow. It's post time. 
Veteran driver Don McCurgan has arrived. Marlene brings out Global Power. And trainer D. Houghton helps hook up the race bike. And they head to the racetrack. Younger first quarter three. In the second. Number two, Pierre Cannon's kick. In a split second, the race is over for Global Power before it ever even started. County Fair. The gate swings into the stretch and here they come. Global Power's on a break. Oh, you wouldn't believe this horse, what he's been through. Didn't tell you because I don't want to make you nervous. I got him at Lexington. We drove home. I stopped the gas. I heard a commotion in the back of the trailer and then it went away. So well, you now I stopped the gas. Three hours later, I stopped the gas. He's in the hay major. He's probably like that. For three hours. He tried to spray through the window and landed in the hay thing. While trainer Dee Houghton talks to driver Don McCurgan after the race, Global Power gets a bath. His night of racing is done. While Global Power is getting walked to cool out after his race, Gary starts to get TT's photo prints ready to go out for his first warm-up mile with trainer Dee Houghton before he races in race number six. The racetrack can get a little crowded as everybody tries to warm up their horses in between races. But trainer D. Houghton weaves TT's photo prints through the traffic and gets the job done. They have just called TT's photo prints' race onto the racetrack. He patiently stands and waits for some traffic to go by before heading to the track to make his second lifetime start. I'm not going to show you the whole race in this video. You'll have to check out his race video later. But as you can see, there's a few smiles as the crew heads back to the barn after the race. No, I think it was uh, at the three quarter pool being out in the middle of the track. It kind of got me to the race was over, too. Uh, I think that was the biggest problem. And I tapped him a couple of times. And he did it. So you have to go ahead and sit there. You know, 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 you got his bath and was toweled off, Gary took a TT's photo prints out back in between the horse trailers for a walk to help him cool off. Our race night is over and the horses are all cooled out and we're ready to head for home. But first we have to load everything back in the truck and trailer. <laughs> After 50 minutes on the road, we arrive at the Wayne County Fairgrounds. Global Power and TT's photo prints are unloaded from the horse trailer. The horses are bedded down and fed, and that's the end of our race day.
I hope you enjoyed it.